action in their conference showdown. Buckle yourselves in, everybody. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan with Chris Weber and Greg Anthony and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. A good game here would get this road trip started confidently for the Cavaliers. They've really been on a roll. They've gone five and one in their last six games. This team has already played well, and it really does believe that it can get its business taken care of on the road also. So um, they don't have any worries when they go Side away from be a crowd pleaser. In a game like this, stringing together a few stops can make a huge difference. Yes. Here's Thompson, and it's Thompson with the jam. And guys, that's his game. I mean, battling in the paint and, and cashing in on those second chance opportunities. And Greg cashing in hard. I knows he has this ability, correct? Yet no one thinks to put a body on him? Incredible. Houston making a switch. Browns checked in. Never in a hurry. Irving can't get it to go. Uh, the defense took a big risk leaving him wide open and got lucky he planked that outside shot. Kicks it out to Ariza. This is dark. Just five to shoot. Houston needs to get a shot. Whoops, there's the 24 second shot clock violation. So LeBron kicks to Love. Pass to Harden. Right wing. Beverly dishes to Harden. Decker with a screen for Harden. Plenty of space. And it's Houston with another. And he's off to a terrific start. It'll be interesting to see if he can keep his foot on the pedal. Now low. Anderson passes to Harden. To the left side wing. And Deckers is it in. He hangs around up there just for a little camera time. Yeah, maybe he didn't want to land on. Oh, that is just weak defense there. I'm pretty sure that was not the plan to give him those kind. And if you go back three seasons, the Cavs, they have the second youngest roster in the league. Two consecutive number one overall picks. And then fast forward to the present. This is a veteran laden team with its sights squarely set on championship. Here's Harden on the wing. Back to Beverly. Here's Harden on the wing. Trains it from beyond the arc. That wide open. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Look at this Rockets team, as they do have their weak spots. One big one is rebounding and closing out possessions. They just give up way too many second chance looks. And as he's checked in for Patrick Beverly. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Channing Fries checked in for Johnson. Jefferson comes in for Kevin Love. Kyle Korver, he's checked in for Shumpert. And it's Felder in for Kyrie Irving. It's Harden with the drive. The weakness, and that's the part where they can fall behind with rebounding. A lot of it is that they get out of position too often. Rebounding is one reason why they can falter defensively. Guys, that, that's what made that play possible. No simple. Oh, Ooh. see that? As he made it look, you've got to have some skills to pull that off. Well, he's got plenty of those, yes. that's for sure. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Uh, they look outside Corver. Good. Well, both teams are continuing to move the ball and get outstanding looks at the basket as they quickly get out the gate. And the shot's good from the name. Offensively here, really tuned in with one another. And you have to give some credit to the play calling, getting the ball to guys in spots where they can really do something with it. On the court for Cleveland, it's Love and Fry, the sharp shooting big man. Irving is out there with Kyle Corver. And it's just and those are two teammates right there working in rhythm. One setting the screen and the other using it to get that separation. Yeah, terrific play right there. Great strength to finish through the contact. Chris, the length of the break has grown considerably since you play. Oh, I love it. Uh, you know, you need those extra days. You know, you want to make sure guys give their... 
Well, LeBron James has stepped up over the years, both on and off the court. Of course, he plays with that reckless abandon, but off the floor, he's been very involved and vocal about social issues. And more dramatically, he entrusted his marketing empire to his childhood friends. LeBron recalled, people called it the worst decision ever. Inside, it's taken away by Brewer. Jefferson. It's deflected to the paint. There's Harold. That's tipped. Coming for Jefferson. And Brewer kicks to Capella. And the dunk by Capella. Here's checked in for Nene. Anderson comes in for Clint Capella. Trevor Ariza's checked in for Brewer. And it's Harden in for Gordon. Right side, Irving. He feeds it to Thompson. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. And that one's good. Shumpert. Shumpert. Low. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. He's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is. And he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. And how's that? For a move, the killer crossover. It's a thing of beauty. Thompson sets the pick for Irving. It's tipped. Stolen by Anderson. Pass to Beverly. Here's Harden on the wing. And he elevates for the slam. Thompson did not like that. For the top. Close game or not, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. That in the second quarter so far. Reza. Not really his range, and it's off target. In transition, here come the Cavaliers. Here's Thompson, and it's Thompson with the jam. It'll count. No good on the buzzer beater. To get in the lane at will in that first half. Uh, the most intense guy on the court at times. Put a lot of pressure on the defense. We'll see if he can maintain that level of energy the rest of the way. And is out there with Gordon. Then it's Corey Brewer. Then there's Harold. Then it's Nene with the five. That's the five for Houston right now. Nice work on the inside. Hard to get that one up and over the big fella. Strong fundamentals right there. He didn't consider the height disadvantage too long. Instead, he just went right at him and sunk it in his grill, in the face. And you look at the star trio in Cleveland of LeBron, Kyrie Irving, and Kevin Love. Greg, how do you like the way those three fit together? I think their skills complement one another. I mean, Irving can take hits threes and has good complementary skills. He's like that show how much pressure the players out there really feel. To the inside. Harold, that's good. Can't believe he missed that one. I thought for sure that was good. James. And it's Thompson with the jam. Going back up strong. And G.A. in a close game like this where every possession is critical, that could prove to be a very big... Brewer with the steal. To the paint. And Harold stops it in. And that's how you make a steal count. Turn it into a quick slam at the other end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony right there. But <laughs> and the changes for Houston. Clint Capella comes in for Nene. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Tyler Ennis. And Cleveland with a change here, too. Jefferson's checked in. And some hang time on the rim. Puts a little cherry on the top of that slam. Well, there is a unit. What is needed, you think, from teammates in order to, to make that happen? Uh, I think you need good leaders. And, and good leaders are always known to be great followers. And so uh, I think you need great chemistry. Uh, most importantly, talent and the talent to execute and a coach who understands it can deliver uh, a message and inspire. And so uh, it's a lot of moving parts. Uh, number one, you just have to be blessed. Uh, lucky enough to be in the right situation at the right time. Very much in sales in for the flush. But it's surprising, Cam, to see so little urgency on the defensive side, especially with them losing this game right now. 
just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. And Beverly kicks to Harold. Inside. Capella with the bucket. Capella's got the lead up to eight now for Houston. Thames, the centers for the Houston Rockets. And Al Sampson, Akeem Olajuwon, Yao Ming. I mean, incredible to have Tim Houston. The fans of the Rockets have been spoiled for decades with all the great big men that have played for their teams. There's a big difference in the field goal percentages between these two teams here in the second half. <laughs> well, they just look sharper out there compared to their opponents, and it's because of how they are spreading the floor on offense. Houston with a big group substitution here. Trevor Ariza's checked in for Gordon, and it's James Harden. Oh. Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Ouch, Greg, that is just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Harden, no good. And here's Irving. The layup missed. And, and, and typically he has the touch. We've got a great game on our hands as we welcome you back. The fourth quarter of action getting started. And Cleveland looking at who they've got to start the fourth quarter. They've got Jefferson. Thompson's checked in. In the corner, it's James. Stolen by Harden. And there's the call on James. Harden with it. And it's Ariza in the corner. Puts up a three. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harden's got his third assist on the night. Poked away. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Beverly. Irving kicks to Thompson. Stolen by Decker. Wow, he kept his hands moving to catch his man's attention just as he was going up for that shot. Great defense there. The Cavaliers trail by 11. The drive by James. Bank. The offenses are in rhythm. Well, defenses are going to have to step up. Each team right now appears to be super comfortable on offense right now. They're both knocking down the shot. Defensively, they just look out of... Uh, in, in the middle school and the high school level, kids don't know how to play on the post. Uh, when you look back through the history of this game, whether it's been guards or big fellas, the post is not about how tall you are. The post is about how the closer you are to the basket, you usually have an advantage. And if you have games, then that pump fit game down there will work and get you to the foul line. And if you are a team, it changes the angle that the defense has to look inside and play. It helps slow the pace down sometimes uh, in... Uh, in, in the playoffs, uh, when the game gets uh, tough and a little bit more physical, and we can say that everybody's changed their game, but only one team wins a year. So, you know, it, I don't know if the trend is necessarily not there with big guys not in the post. When I look at guys like Drummond, uh, Blake Griffin, Dwight Howard, Horford, Jordan, in the post, I just uh, subscribe to the opinion that maybe coaches uh, don't want to coach that way because uh, guys have post game. And we just have to see uh, if the game will change. But small ball right. Swing it over to David Aldridge. Kevin, during the last break, I heard Tyron Lue talking with his team. No surprise, he was not happy with the turnovers. He told them, we are giving this one away, guys. We've got to be more careful with the ball. Play within the offense and get good open shots. Kevin? For any kind of defensive effort tonight, embarrassing. And there have been some terrible shot choices here, Kev. That's not a good look at all. Excellent D to force that. He's one of the best dunkers in the game. Stolen by Beverly. Here's Irving. That doesn't go in either for Irving. Out of bounds. Cleveland from deep three-point range. James, no good. No question as to which team gave the better effort tonight. Them on the year. And so they're Jesus. able to even up the season series with one left to play, exacting a little revenge and really saving face. They did not want to go down 2-0. I mean, when you look at the stats, you'll see just how dominant a game this was. Being as wide as a barrel. And every point is critical now. You can't afford to let these opportunities pass. Whoa! <laughs> well, they're going to walk out of here with a win. The Cavaliers again can't hit. They can burn some clock if they want to. And get a little breather as well. And again, James Harden. 
And the Rockets lead by 16. So we see the Rockets taking the win here. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. And that about wraps it up for David Alden.